Hello students, in this third video lecture, we will talk about another synthetic fiber, which is polyester. Polyester. This word is made from two words, poly, which means many, plus ester. So polyester is made by repeating units of chemical called ester. Terylene, terene and decron are different types of polyester fibers. Properties of polyester. Polyester is very strong. It is crease resistant, light, elastic. It absorbs little water. When mixed with cotton, it forms a fiber polycot. And when it is mixed with wool, it forms polywool. These mixed fibers are more comfortable to wear. Uses of polyester. It is used to make clothes such as shirts, trousers and suits, home furnishings such as bed sheets, curtains and sofa covers, jackets and quilted garments, jackets to be used in wet or damp environment due to its water resistant property. Pet is the form of polyester used to make bottles, films, utensil wires etc the another synthetic fiber is acrylic this is a synthetic fiber that resembles wool in property it is lightweight soft warm and gives wool like feel acrylic can be dyed in a variety of colors clothes made from it are cheaper than wool Uses of acrylic. It is used for making sweaters, blankets, shawls, linings for boots and gloves, carpets. Advantages of synthetic fibers. These are stronger than natural fibers. These are crease resistant, moth proof, easy to wash, durable, that is last for a long time. Disadvantages of synthetic fibers. They do not absorb water or sweat as easily as natural fibers. They stick to the body in hot and humid weather, therefore uncomfortable. Synthetic fiber catch fire very readily, therefore get melted on heating and stick to the body, thus cause burn injuries. Hence, synthetic clothes should not be worn in the kitchen and laboratory. Thank you so much.